here and I'm here with my 2023 setup. You can kind of see what the theme of this setup is and that is a rainbow theme which I adore doing rainbows every single year. It feels like I, I don't think I've not done a rainbow theme since about um, 2018, 2019. Um, I think was the last time that I did not do a rainbow theme. So for the last few years, I have been doing them in the front of my notebook. And this year I am using dot grid paper from Archer and Olive. Um, so if you are new here, welcome. Um, I know a lot of folks get to start the new year off fresh with a new bullet journal and we bring in a lot more people to this community. So I just want to say a big welcome to all of you. Uh, and I hope that this video provides you a whole bunch of inspiration. Um, this is one of the simplest themes that I've ever done. It's literally just ripped up paper. Um, and then I printed out a whole bunch of stuff. So my first page is a memories page. So you can see the ripped up paper in the right left hand corner. Um, and then the 2023 in the bottom right hand corner. And that is where I'm going to keep all my memory doodles and things like that. This next page is a future log. So if you are new to bullet journaling, a future log is basically where you keep future events. So basically if I know of a wedding in July and it is January, um, I wanna have a space to mark where that is happening so that I don't forget. So in this case, I am setting up the year of 2023. I don't particularly like setting up more than one year, um, but I know that there are people that need things multiple years in advance, so they may have two years of future logs, or they may have more room than I have on my future log. The whole thing about bullet journaling, especially if you are new here to the community, is make it work for you. For me, a year is just fine, so that is what I am doing here. So you can see I am putting together my stickers. So I am starting in the left-hand corner. That is January's little mini calendar. And then you can see I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the mini calendars for the second half of the year. And I decided to put them down in the middle of the page. So we have February to June on the top side, and then we have July to December on the bottom side. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute that future log soon because um, I know it's not going to work <laughs> in the spot that it's at. And so basically from here, I can see my calendar at a glance and then I can mark in events that are happening like birthdays, holidays, um, weddings, anniversaries, things of that nature. So with the future log done, we are moving on to a new page, which is 23 things in 2023. And I love doing this page because it can be big things, it can be small things, but the whole point of this page is just to jot down some ideas of things that I want to do in the year. So I have, again, um, my printed headers here. So I printed these on sticker paper. Um, you can print these on regular paper and just paste them in. Um, but sticker paper is reasonably cheap um, and you can buy them on online, on Amazon, all the sorts of places. And you just use a regular printer. Now I have a Cricut machine and a Silhouette machine so I can cut these out, but you can also hand cut them with scissors. So I am leaving spaces for 23 different uh, scenarios, things that I want to do. Um, so you can see I am using this silver acrylograph pen. I am an Archer and Olive ambassador. So if you want to support them, I have 10% off in my link down below. And they are having a big Black Friday sale soon. So definitely use uh, my affiliate link down in the bottom uh, if you want to support me and also uh, explore stationery with Archer and Olive.
So I am not quite uh, ready to put the 23 things in 2023 on <laughs> paper yet. So I uh, went ahead and I moved forward with the next page of my setup. And you can see I have um, some lines in here. And that is because I am doing uh, tabs for these particular sections. I wanted all of my annual collections that are like big, broad things not to have tabs and then all of my ones that are very specific I wanted to have tabs so you can see here I am putting in the uh, blue dot grid paper to keep going with the rainbow theme so I have um, this page in particular is for home projects so I have a spot on the left and a spot on the right the spot on the left is for maintenance types of projects and then the spot on the right is for new projects. For example, if I am painting my railings, which if you've been on this channel, you have heard me talk about painting my railings before, but that is more of a maintenance project because that is to extend the longevity of my railings versus a new project, which is uh, like me installing the barn door. I do not currently have a barn door. I do not currently have a door where I'm trying to put the barn door. So that is a new thing that I am adding to the home. So you can see, again, I have my home projects uh, stickers here, and then I am going in with the silver to put in the heathers. So for each of these projects, what I wanna find out is what the project is, what the budget for that project is, and what the actual cost for that is. And this is, uh, last year, I think I put in some timelines related to the projects of like when I would do them and things like that. But honestly, that's a bit hard. So um, yeah, I am just putting in the project, the budget and the actual this year because uh, that makes more sense to me. Moving on to the next home tab, so you can see that both of those are in the same top position. That's because those are related to the same type of thing. So these are the home pages. So this tab in particular is for the ideal cleaning schedule. I want to get to a spot where I have a routine when it comes to cleaning, that I'm not getting overwhelmed and then cleaning everything in the entire house because that is currently where I'm at and that doesn't work for me. <laughs> so you can see I am putting in the uh, header down at the bottom here. I wanted to mix some of these up and do both the printed uh, types of headers and then also have some of my lettering in there. So I am doing this one with my lettering in the silver acrylograph and I am putting in the ideal cleaning schedule. On the left hand side, I'm going to be putting things that don't happen all the time. So things that happen on an annual basis, on a semi-annual basis, a quarterly basis, and a monthly basis. And then on the right hand side, I am going to include a general schedule for the week. For example, I know that on Tuesdays, it's probably not gonna be as busy because there are often Tuesdays that I go into the office or that I am um, traveling for work. So on Tuesdays, I will probably have a lighter cleaning schedule. Um, but on Fridays, when I am home, for example, um, I may have a, a more, more to my cleaning schedule. So I do have, um, like I said, my it doesn't happen all the time ones on the left and then uh, things that I want to do on a weekly basis on the right.
are moving on to the health tab of my annual setup. So I am putting this slightly below the uh, home tab so you can see there are two tabs for um, the home section and then there are multiple tabs that are going to be coming up for the health section. And that is because I am not doing a health and wellness uh, notebook. It is going in my annual collection. I think this is going to work out pretty well for me. Um, I have been using my main bullet journal for things like this lately so I think it's going to work out just fine and basically I've, I've had a problem in the past um, using my annual pages so my thought process is that um, like on a weekly basis I go back in and I try to fill out some of these annual pages and I continually reference them and make a habit of continually referencing them. So I am using um, another header for medical reference. So this is for my entire family. So it includes uh, for my partner, myself, and my four animals. So I have a color code that I will include at the top. You can see the little circles there already. And then each of these boxes represents a month. So I have January through June, um, going down on the left hand side and then July through December going down on the right hand side and that way I can keep track of both things that are going on now and follow-up appointments that need to happen in the future for example I know when my dogs have their uh, upcoming wellness checks uh, my dog Malia will have hers in September because that is when she's due for her annual so I will have her color marked in in September and then in the boxes right next to the S I will have the date of that particular event. Um, so I, I will go ahead and write down Malia's wellness and then once I have a date for that I will put that in that little um, column that doesn't have anything currently. So that's basically how that works. And then I can color code it as such as well. So then on the right hand side, I have a, a graph that says who, why, when, and a follow up column. So who is it for? Why is it happening? When is it happening? And is there any follow up necessary? For example, if uh, my dog Harley gets ill. Um, if she may need a follow-up in two weeks or maybe she doesn't. Well, hopefully she would not. I am doing is for my body statistics so because I do strength training I do like to keep um, my statistics on my body measurements to see how I am progressing so I have different rows for all of the months of the year and then I will also include columns later on once I figure out all of the uh, particular measurements that I want to target. Usually I do biceps, I do glutes, I do under glutes, I do um, my quads, things like that. So I will have columns for all of those items uh, once I get a handle on which ones I want to do and add those in. So this is another health related spread like I said because I in particular like to do strength training. So um, this is very helpful for me to know where I am developing in places and where I'm lacking in others.
So we are going to move on to my last health related spread and that is the 12 fitness challenges of 2023. I will be talking about this in an upcoming Archer and Olive blog that I am super excited about. So basically what I'm doing here is every month of the year, I will be uh, partic doing a particular challenge for my body. And I am just very, very excited to change things up. It keeps me reinvigorated to um, work out because I am challenging myself in ways that I had not challenged myself before. So um, for example, if I wanted to do a burpees challenge or if I wanted to um, go hiking every week or something like that. So there's 12 different challenges. And then once I figure out what the challenges are going to be and what month I'm going to do them in, I will go ahead and write both of the those uh, pieces of information in each of these boxes. lied and I think this is the last health <laughs> spread. I'm not sure if I said this was the last health spread on the last one, but this is the last health spread um, that I am doing in my 2023 setup. So this is, again, we are working uh, from rainbow color order and now reverse rainbow color order. So I am on green and I am putting together a running log. I've talked about this a lot in a lot of my uh, latest videos and goals videos that I want to focus on running. So this is going to be a running log. And the things that I'm going to keep track of in the running log are the date, the distance, the time, the split. So for every mile, how long did it take me? And then the type of terrain that I am running on because it makes a big difference if you are running on hills versus if you are running on a flat surface. And I primarily run around hills because uh, I live in a very hilly area. So it's definitely going to make a difference when I switch to running on flat terrain and hopefully um, it'll be a better time at that point. So I uh, just have two pages set up for that. If I do need more later in the year, I do plan on either adding them from the back of the notebook or adding them in my blackout notebook, which I will have a part two of that set up.
So the last section I am heading into is my business related spreads. Like I said, I do not have a health and wellness this year and I do not have a business traveler's notebook this year. So I need to add both of those things into my regular notebook. So I have this page set up similarly to a future log. And basically what I've done is I've made a tip in where it has a key for the um, income that I am tracking and the expenses that I'm tracking. So for my expense log, I won't have every little expense written down at the end of the month. I will total everything up and I will put it um, as one category and same with my income. So I have a section for my website, YouTube, Instagram, affiliate, Patreon, and other. And then for my expenses, I have a section for shipping, materials, software, and other. And I messed up the first tip in a little bit, so <laughs> I went back in and I fixed that little tip in uh, for my income and expense log, and I put the the title on that page as well. And then my last two pages are for YouTube videos and my monthly business to do list. So for my YouTube videos, this is going to be a catch all where I. Um, I have all of the video ideas that y'all send me and that I can uh, continually reference and then videos that are going to be like my staples um, like every month I do a plan with me for example so I will have a section for that and then for um, other ideas that you guys send to me because I love those ideas and then on my monthly business to do this is going to be kind of the same thing where I have a list of what monthly to-do items are my standard list of to-do items that I have to do. For example, I have to create a patron choice form every month. I have to uh, send out the rewards. I have to do a whole bunch of uh, similar things every single month. So I will keep that list here and then also other things that may come up after that. And here is a final flip through of my 2023 setup. I hope you all enjoy it. I did make this a pretty simple video um, and this is very beginner friendly. There's a lot of very easy decorative items because you literally just tear a piece of paper <laughs> and then stick it on your page. Um, I try to keep it very, very minimalist um, except for the scrap paper accents. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, stay tuned for all my other videos where I do some more setups for 2023, including my part two, which will be in a blackout notebook. I will also have a reading journal set up. I will also have my 2023 annual goals set up. There's a whole bunch of fun, fun content coming down the pipeline here. Um, so definitely like subscribe, all that kind of stuff so that uh, you can keep getting exposed to my content and I will see you in a future video. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye.